be able to work that distancing. Now comes the importance of tape two. My partner Rob takes his stance. Look at the stance. Now, I have to create that opening, remember. Look at his belt. This glove is just a little above that belt. So what I want to do is I want to see what he's going to do when I throw that kick. You just defend whatever way you want. Good. Now, but look how far that went and look there. That's what I want to do now is I want to create that opening. So it's it, it, boom, boom, and down. Sorry. Okay? Love to hit young kids. But from here, I slide up, kick, and then butt. Because that hand is busy. It's got to stop that. If he doesn't, I score. I don't throw it hard. I throw it quick and snappy. What I like to do all the time is take your stance. Make him mad. Because if he lets me get this close, take your fighting stance. If he lets me get this close, I can get this kick in. Maybe not right there because his hand is right there. But I can get it in either there, 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 someplace around here and upset his balance and upset his thinking. So what happens, Rob takes his stance and I throw the kick. See, now he's thinking. Now he's thinking, whoa! Now I get him, boom, 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 and I get it in. So I make him think low. I make him think low. What's the opposite of that? We worked on it in the second tape, remember? Roundhouse kick into the hook kick. Watch what he does with a double roundhouse kick. Boom, boom. Look at this hand. But look at the head. So now we're going to create that opening. Boom, wham. Right there it is. Creating that opening. Here, boom, boom, wham. So I get him all the way around. I can go boom, boom, boom. So I use this as a little fulcrum or a little pivoting stick. Double roundhouse kick. Boom, boom. He blocks it. So I come in and go boom, wham, and down. If Rob turns the other way, now he's taking away my stomach. But what I can do now is very simply just sweep. From here, touch and kick. Touch and kick. If he sticks his hand up, what can I do? Touch and hook kick. Touch and hook kick. So everything works together. Not really knocking him off balance. Not knocking him off balance. Just making him realize. Watch his hands. That's all I want. Just boom, wham, and in. Another one, boom, wham, and in. Okay? Be able to just to make him concentrate on what's not coming. Okay, now, thinking a counter. I want to use my leg to counter Rob. Rob is a good, strong fighter. Let's say Rob comes in and sweeps me. If my weight's in the middle and he sweeps it nice and hard, you know, I lose my balance. He can get me. So what I want to do when Rob comes in, I lean back and take the weight off my supporting leg, off my forward leg. Then, let's say he comes in with his combination. And in. One more time. And down. What I do is wrap around that because he does the work for me. He comes in and sweeps. There it is. He does that work for me. Does it again. And in. I can also come under it. He sweeps. Side kick. Again, sweep it hard. Boom. Again, take one, the flexibility. He sweeps. See where the knee is? Bam. And in. Be able to have that pulling back of the leg. He sweeps. Boom. And in. Or the hook and in. Okay? Get that flexibility, get that leaning, keep your balance. What happens if you can't get your leg up to hook kick or you're having trouble getting the leg up to defensive side kick? Very simple, you use a back fist. You take away the sweep from him. Rob's going to slide up the sweep. That's all I do. But I don't lean back. I lean into it. Now watch what happens with my forward hand. See what happens? Again. Now you come in with your combination afterwards. I beat him because he's halfway between. He comes in to sweep. If I'm there, he's going to sweep it. But I'm here. And then bam. Okay? Coming nice and hard. I beat him. The leg is not even out yet. And I sweep. Watch again. Watch the forward leg. Watch the rear leg. Here. I beat him. He comes in to sweep. Here. 
You can jump. I don't like to jump because I don't want to be up in the air. That means if I go up, I got to come down. And I don't know where I'm going to come down. So he comes in and sweep. Here. Okay? Main thing to remember. Knee up. Not this. Because then he's going to jam you, throw you off balance. But get that leg over his. Here. And then counter. Good snappy back fist. Lean into it. He comes in. Here. I'm jamming him now. He's not trying to sweep me. I'm jamming him. We're going to work on a couple jamming techniques now. What I mean by jamming is Rob's going to come in to kick. Rather than blocking the technique, I short circuit that movement, which means I bring a leg up or an elbow down or something that stops that technique short of actually making contact with anything. Therefore, he becomes off balance and susceptible to my counter. What happens now, let's do it slowly. Rob, Rob slides in, he slides the kick. Now what happens as he slides in the kick, I lean back, raise my knee to jam. He kicks, and then I fall forward with a ridge hand to his face. Or I can throw a hook punch or a reverse punch or whatever. I prefer the ridge hand. Why I, why I like this is because I don't want to turn towards my opponent. It leaves too much of a target open. I want to be here, so, but I'm a kicker, so you know what's coming after that, which we'll do in a minute. Okay, Rob, all one movement, you slide in the kick. Boom. Ridge hand. Now you notice how I'm coming into it. I'm not doing this. Because if it does this, it throws me off balance. Rob throws the kick, here, boom, and ridge hand. Okay, the counter to that again, he slides in kicks here. Now you notice how I lean back? I can't do anything. He can get me now. So I have to throw him off balance. Here. And ridge hand. Another movement is a counter hook kick. Rob slides in the kick. I jam here. Step down now. See where he is? And the hook kick. Why? The reason I like to step down is it helps me get the snap, the snap, the pivoting in the hook kick. So he comes in the kicks. Hit here and down. I can also do the roundhouse kick. He slides up the kick. Jam here and then just up. The roundhouse kick, I try not to put my foot down because it's a quick snappy movement. The hook kick is a lot of power. One more time. The roundhouse kick jam here and in. Sorry. He comes in a kick. Here, boom. And in. The hook kick. Slide it. Jam. Here. And down. Now I'm going to create a good opening. My partner Rob has a good forward stance. Hands are up. Good positioning. Good balance, right? So I want to think that I'm going to create this opening real good. Well, I've got to do it because he's got a nice solid stance, so I've got to create this opening. I want to kick him in the face. I don't care kicking him in the stomach, kicking in the ribs. Anybody can kick anybody in the ribs or in the stomach, right? I want to kick him in the head because it makes me feel good. So what I want to do is I want to create that opening. Watch his head. Watch this hand. We have not rehearsed this, so watch what happens. See the head? The foot comes here. The head goes that way. Very simply, out of range of the hook kick, but in range for the roundhouse kick. So basically what happens now is I'm going to do this. Here, and boom. I slide up. There's the leg. He sees it. He's going to defend against it. I fall back, and the kick, and in. One more time, a little quicker, fake, and in. Now, how do I do that? What I might want to do is I might want to throw the roundhouse kick, slide up here, step down as he comes in the counter now, the hook kick. So I can do this, I'll throw the roundhouse kick, let's say. He blocks, tries to counter. Right there. Slide up, knee comes up, kick, step down. See, I'm still leaning back. He can't reach me, but I can reach him. There's the movement. So it's from here, boom, and the hook kick, and down. Another one. His guard is there. I'm here. I throw the kick. He blocks it. Fake the hook kick. Same thing. Slide up. I'm going to throw the low hook kick, but now the hook kick comes through the face. Again, slowly. Watch what happens. I slide up, bring the knee up. I throw the roundhouse kick. He blocks it comes in to throw the punch with the rear hand, I lean, and the hook kick. Very simply, one more time. Slide up, kick, and the hook kick, and down.
sometimes a fighter will grab you to try to get you off balance, to try to get you upset enough that he can counter you. So he grabs here, boom, and tries to counter punch. If I'm just standing here, let's say Rod grabs and punches. Okay, do it again, all one move. Boom. Okay, now I'm off balance. I can't punch here. I can't back fist. What can I do? Flexibility is important. The kicking technique is, ability, is important. He comes and kicks. Boom. As I, as I see him reach out. Boom. Now, see how I've shifted my hips back? The arm is here. He's got that punch ready to go. If I bring this out like this, he can score on me. I don't want this to happen. I keep the elbow in tight. Now if he pulls, he's going to hit the arm. And I still protect it. Notice how the hips are back? He's pulling me right into him. Boom. Right there. Again, he comes in and grabs. And I can counter. Might pull my shirt off a little bit, but I'll get him. He comes in. And in. If you don't have that flexibility yet to kick to the head, use a simple side kick or maybe a short little hook kick to the rib area. Again, Rob comes in, here, boom. You have to get him as he's coming in. He can't be able to grab and then right there punch because he's got me pulled towards him. It's hard to pull this leg up and kick when I'm off balance. So as Rob comes, grabs and punches here. See how I've leaned back already? He has trouble reaching me with the reverse punch because my waist to the rear. And now the kick and in. Very simple, all one real quick. Boom. And out once more. And in. The knee comes up, out, back, and then down. Got it? Okay. What happens when your opponent throws a kick to your head? Rob takes his stance. Let's say he's going to slide up and throw a roundhouse kick to the back of my head. Slides up and he kicks. Boom. Okay, now what I don't want to do is I don't want to create an opening on myself. How would you expect I would create that opening? By simply blocking. He throws the kick, I block. Look at this. He can score. He can counter my counter to his counter. So what happens, I simply lean back, distancing. He slides up for the kick. See how I'm taking that away? I don't need my hands, but I'm going to keep here for protection. Now what I use is a very simple counter hook kick. He slides in and kicks. Boom, and in. I get him to walk into the technique. One more time, Rob. He slides in and kicks. Here, boom, and down. Very simply, he slides in the kick. Now I turn back here, and he walks in. Okay. If you can't get the kick to the head, again, use a hooking kick to the stomach or chest area. He slides in for the same kick, here, boom, and in. Lean over, lean over. It's not important that you have your body upright when you kick. That's a fallacy. What you want are your hips underneath you. Straight, here, not here, but here. So you have that balance, so you have that balance. The upper body can lean back as long as your hips are above your leg. He slides in for that kick, and there's the kick. Okay? Another one he can do, let's say he throws a side kick. Here. See how I'm leaning? Now, what can happen, he'll throw the kick, I lean back, he step down, and the roundhouse kick. He does that all one motion. Distancing is important here also. He slides in for the kick, out of the way, boom, and down. Once more, here, and there's the kick. Once more, I can hook kick with it. Here, here, and in. Or I can back fist punch. Here, boom, here. Distancing. I'm in range, I'm out of range, I'm in range. What happens if your opponent is right on top of you? Rob has his hands up. I don't want to mix it up with him in here. Let's say he's bigger than I am. He's stronger than I am. I can maybe get a technique in, but he's going to be stronger than I am. He's going to be maybe a little quicker than I am. So I want distancing on my side. So get real closer, Rob. There you go. Right here. Now, right from here, all I have to do, again, working flexibility, working the techniques we worked before, is a very simple hook kick. What does he least expect me to do from this position? kick. Because I'm here, we're, we're tussling around, all of a sudden, boom, and I'm gone. 
Again, we're here. Getting close. Getting close. Just hit me. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Get over here. Even the great ones make mistakes. He's in close. Getting closer. Getting closer. See here. He, he, and there it is. Very simply, the knees up. Getting close. Here. Nice and close. Here. here. And the knees up. Here. Kick and down. So I have that distancing on my side. So I have something between him and I. The leg. You can also be working combinations. I can be here. Now watch the positioning of the out inside leg. If I'm here, he's got me. He can sweep me. Boom. And I'm off balance. But the good part about this, I can simply hook kick from here. I can straighten this out here and hook kick. If it's on the inside of his leg, from here, now I can be here, turn him a little bit, lean back, and roundhouse kick. Or I can punch, boom, 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 hook kick from the outside. Okay? Think about it. Anything is possible. There's primarily three types of fighters you will spar in the ring. Number one, the aggressive fighter. Number two, the runner. And number three, the counter fighter. Rob, take his stance. Now, on the aggressive fighter, he keeps his attack relentless towards you. He's all the time attacking. So if Rob is attacking me, it's all the time moving. So I can't decide to do anything. So I've got to, gee, when he crapes, oh. Well, I've got to stop that technique before it gets started. I can't back up twice and say, now I'm going to counter, because he's already got his momentum moving. So I've got to stop him right off the bat. Here. As soon as he moves. Here. As soon as he moves. Here. As soon as he moves. Or, as soon as he moves. I can't back up. If I back up, he's got me. The second type of fighter, the runner. Let's say we're sparring and I'm working at Rob. As soon as I start to move, he takes off. And I said, what can I do? I can't throw a technique. I'm going to miss him a mile. 